Hey, this is Julie Olson from That Library Girl. I made a video for you today, and it's all about how you can get free TPT stuff just for leaving good, helpful, constructive feedback on the things that you purchased. Let's jump in. The first thing you need to do is go to your TPT account, click the gray circle where your initial is located, and you're going to open up a drop down menu. Choose My Purchases. Couple more steps. Hang on. When you click My Purchases, you're going to see a listing of everything that you have downloaded from TPT. Whether it is something that you purchased or a freebie, it might be a tutorial, it might be a newsletter template, whatever it is, it will be listed in this area. You can um, use a keyword search to find something particular that you're looking for, or there are three different options for sorting all the results of things that you've purchased. Also, up here, if you are having trouble with a file that you've purchased or was a freebie download, there's a Frequently Asked Questions page where you can get help about maybe something's not downloading correctly or you can't get it to open. Or if it is a technical issue like that, you can contact TPT with the help ticket and they will reach out through email to help you. And they are so good about doing that. If you're having a problem with the content itself, you will want to reach out to the seller and um, that can be maybe through the question and answer section of your TPT dashboard, or you might find her or his email address on the resource itself and reach out to get your problem solved. But in my case here, I bought this set of clip art this week to work on a resource and there are no problems with it. It is amazing. And so I want to leave a review and I click the blue button to access the right spot. So, from that blue button, I'm going to be sent over to Clever Cat Creations, who is the seller of that clip art. I'm going to scroll around just a bit, and I'm going to choose this green button, Leave a Review. But, oh my goodness, before I get there, TPT may be digging for a little bit of data. A box may pop up on you where it asks you if you've even used the resource yet. In fact, there's a time span of 24 hours between when we purchase something from TPT and when we can leave a bit of feedback. So they want you to wait a little bit and reflect on it so that you have really good thought processes before leaving a review. In my case here, it's asking why did I use this resource? Was it for distance learning? Um, did I use it in homeschooling? Did I use it for my own purposes? And this is the one I chose because I am creating a new resource with it. So ho-hum, click, click, click. Sometimes we have to give a little data to have a better marketplace for all of us. Then finally, we're to the review page, which is what we wanted in the first place. And the first question is, how satisfied were you with the resource? The gold star standard for TPT sellers, we all want that extremely satisfied star because we're hoping that you absolutely love whatever it is that we created and put out into the universe for you. Or at least we hope you're very satisfied. In fact, if you're not very or extremely satisfied, if you're just moderately or slightly or not at all satisfied, I would encourage you to stop the review process right there and go ahead and reach out to the seller or reach out to TPT about the technical problem. Ask questions. See if maybe a file just got forgotten in the zip file. See if maybe you just need to do something like um, update your Adobe to get it to work correctly and then come back when the problem's solved and give that better rating. The second thing that you're going to do is write a couple of sentences to let other educators know how you used the resource and what your experience was. For instance, you might type something out about um, how did you use the resource to teach a certain skill or concept and how did your students respond to it? You know, were they really engaged? Did they want to repeat the coding activity or whatever it was? Um, did the newsletter template save you tons of time? Was it really cute and engaging and your parents commented that they really liked it? I don't know. Um, and then you could also maybe write about what would make the resource even better. Maybe as you were working with it, you thought, oh, it would be so cool if they had done this or that. 
that kind of data is so important to us as curriculum designers because a lot of times it will lead us to make a little update or it may even spur an idea for a completely um, new product. So we really appreciate your helpful, kind, constructive feedback. It's really important to us. But anyway, once you've given your star rating and once you've given us a little bit of information about how you used the resource, click Submit and your resource credit will start building up in your little, I call it a little nest egg, your account balance down here. So this is how it works. For each dollar that you spend on TPT, not freebies, but things that you pay for, after you've left that helpful, constructive feedback, you're going to get a five cent credit, which is going to go into this little account balance. And of course, you know, 20 credits times five cents is going to be a dollar. Every time you get to a dollar, it's going to go into your account and it'll be building up and building up and building up for you. Um, so let's say that you're going to buy Laura Trapp's book series bundle, which is already a great price, but she's got it on sale right now. So it's a super, super price. Well, if you look at your cart, it's going to list the subtitle. It'll have any sales like that subtracted. And if you choose to apply your account balance, you have to you have to choose for it to go there. Otherwise, it's just going to continue to build up. It would be subtracted out too before you checked out and you would be able to use it at that time. You can just use part of it. You could just maybe put like if you wanted to take three dollars off, you could leave that other 70 cents and it would continue building up in your little nest egg or you could use the entire balance. It's up to you. But you will be amazed when you begin leaving feedback how quickly this little nest egg grows. And it's really fun um, when you're shopping for back to school to be able to take off dollars on your total. All right. Thank you for listening to my little video today. And thank you for shopping at TPT. And especially thank you for your helpful constructive feedback. I hope this video was helpful to you as well. See you soon.